So, hello everyone and welcome back to some more of the Disco Elysium. I'm here with Kitty, of course, and uh, I have to admit that it's been a while since I've played. I played so much in a short time period and I think it was kind of an okay spot to have the break at because we solved so many things. We found the missing husband and got really a lot further with this and also helped the cryptozoologist so we accomplished a lot thus far so I thought that we might as well start by actually having a look a little bit what we have done what sort of choices we've accomplished the Masovian socioeconomics is of course coming up our skills are what they are <laughs> some better some worse of course visual calculus at the moment is uh, way less because of this idea that we are having there was some other things in here Minus one morale, substance use effects. All right, if we would want to be using uh, alcohol, but I do not really care to do so. And then book 16 days of coldest April is here. Hmm, I guess we should read it because we haven't even checked it before. So sure, let's start from here and then look into the quests and stuff like that. So, book 16 days of coldest April. The cover features a row of concrete buildings with a monochrome rainbow in the sky. It tells a rather excruciating story about two lovers during a period of ethnic unrest in Yukokrat. The book has been filed under psychological realism. In your hands you hold 16 days of coldest April by Yekatina Dar. The cover image shows a row of concrete apartments, above which span a black and white rainbow. That's interesting, actually, some speech here. I don't know if this is then updated, because I know the Final Cut uh, version sh uh, did definitely already be updated into this, and I'm not sure. I think it already updated before, we played before, but I still, I'm not 100% certain which is then from before and which is now, but anyway, feels quite heavy indeed. Indeed, the book is unusually heavy in your hands, as though the cover were lined with lead. Okay. It would do that in Grad. Yeah, this must be new stuff that there's this much, uh, because I used, I'm used to reading these sort of things. So it's kind of weird that now I can't even read the Inland Empire stuff anymore, but I guess I can't help it then. It's, uh, on the other hand, it's nice that there's more voice acting, but on the other hand, well, I, I wanted to do this. How long is this book anyway, though? You flip through the book. The pages are thinner than you realized, and the type quite small and tightly set. It's nearly 600 pages long. Hmm. Real art is dense and difficult. If it didn't feel like you had to wrestle a suicidal bear to get through it, you weren't really reading. I do have to look, uh, is there any sort of settings, which things I would like them to talk and which I wouldn't. Because especially this conceptualization and Inland Empire and so on, I'm so used to being able to read myself that it feels weird when there's actually this specific voice and it doesn't feel that it should be this voice for every single one of these. Like, some of them sure could have that voice but not all of them like they're kind of different sides of us and not everything feels that it's correct when it's pronounced like that of course i didn't give them special voices but still well look at the back cover first the back cover is dominated by a black and white photograph of the author okay what does she look like then she can't be much older than her mid-30s in this photograph and yet from this cover, the eyes of a sad old woman stare back at you. Alright, so she seems a lot older from her eyes than what she actually is physically. Let's start reading. In cold, detached prose, the author describes a scene from one of the Yugo Grad riots in the 20s. Youths overturn motor carriages and set trash cans ablaze, while heavily armored guardsmen dash in and disperse them in a flurry of baton blows. Hmm. As ethnic tensions run wild, a pair of young lovers meet each other on the street. Somehow, in the middle of all the chaos, they manage to lock arms and look into each other's eyes. Okay, so what happens next? It would physically hurt you to keep reading. Are you sure? <laughs> Fuck it. Do it. 
It can't be worse than what you've already felt. Yeah, see? It's n we've really the nowhere in our physical health. It's totally fine. Easy success as in just barely succeeding. Read ten more pages. <laughs> they go through a brief and somewhat awkward love affair. And in the end, they betray each other and succumb to the absurdity of Guardian life. The man becomes a lens grinder, completely abandoning his former existence. Okay, lovely. I'm sure that's a uplifting story indeed for us. And we did lose after all then one more ale and one health, but oh well, what can we do? He toils through the daily drudgery at the Lenka Polyfabricate. Happiness and fulfillment have eluded him his whole life. And in the end, he has nothing to do but dedicate himself to the craft. All right, and what happens to the woman then? She spends the next several decades standing at a conveyor in a Sosnivore fish processing plant. The smell of fish guts slowly seeps into her hair and skin as every single one of her dreams dies one by one yes extremely uplifting how lovely every single dream just dies one after another and no happiness or fulfillment at any point of their lives how cool the memory of their short time spent together tortures the former lovers ceaselessly until the end of their days years pass in solitude their bodies growing ever more decrepit how lovely. Why can't I put this book away? Why is it making me read it? As life leaves their remains between the soil sheets, their final thoughts are filled with regret. Ah, <sighs> how lovely. And then still regret when they're dying. Good stuff. I fucking loved this. I can see that. Yeah, put the book away. Useless book. Maybe we gained a new thought from it, but probably not even that. No, doesn't look like it. What a useless book. But yeah, it's uh, interesting stuff to see all of this stuff now, as in our profile to Harriet Du Bois, Lieutenant to X, Euphratar, or however I was supposed to say it. And our answers overall is sorry cop like 15, so overwhelmingly I am sorry cop. A little bit of a boring cop and a little bit of a superstar. Zero apocalyptic though. Then uh, moralist and communist is almost hand in hand. 11 and 10, and then a little bit of fascist and ultra liberal are in between. Good cop, bad cop. I guess that means that 25 on the positive, I pre presume, because it's... Not a negative, like if it would be a bad cop, surely it would be minus 25 or something, right? Honor, 3, and of course those were already our previous stats that I've uh, killed 3 people, sold 216 and 18 years of service. Done quests, we have completed a lot, and it's interesting how it indeed tracks it per day too, that we start from the monday i don't know what the hidden means exactly and then go through the tuesday quests and then wednesday and now we're on the thursday and we've done the dead body on the boardwalk completed that completely the missing insect case we also did solve and find the insulin pass meat we supposedly have completed this but we definitely didn't find it so this could after some missing around probably lead to the discovery probably not so yeah it's a shame i wish i could have done something more fun then of course we have quests from monday still that we haven't done one from tuesday and then from wednesday quite a bit this i would love to do the investigated doom commercial area but i couldn't even try to yell into that goddamn uh, place to actually contact any of them, search for the malignant entity. Pleasant, pleasant said she lives inside the chimney. Find a way in. Yes, I would absolutely love to if I could. I would, but has to do a little bit more about that. And we know where this door is the apartment door to Everard, and we have gone a little bit forward with it because we have a key. 
but I'm still so unsure if I should do this. It feels wrong. That's the problem. This quest feels wrong, but of course we could possibly get our gun back like this, which would be prob probably a good idea to do. So I definitely should consider doing it. I guess I haven't asked about the armor from Kuno then. I thought I would have. But considering it's still here, maybe ask him about the body first and then about the armor. Hmm. Maybe also like either he has uh, some of the armor or whatever that one guy had who now left the cryptozoologist's assistance, so to speak. He could have had one of these pieces. Maybe if I had realized to ask this first, then we would have had a clue that hey, maybe this guy has something more to do with this, but. Who knows, it's a little late for that now, and we do have this boost, so we could easily complete this quest now, but I kind of don't want to. And the smoking, of course. And then determine where the shot came. We've already checked quite a bit. Uh, check port walk for bullet traces, and of course island for the bullet traces, but not sure where the port walk is supposed to be, exactly where we're supposed to check then. Hmm... And of course, finding the murder weapon. That uh, working firearm that would shoot in this 4.46 ammo. We've caught on quite a lot future with this though, which is pretty cool. And then the tomb hostel thing. <sighs> yeah, should I tell about that? Maybe. And ask about a ruby in the village. Well, we have definitely asked about it. Let the little turn went up the coast. Explore the coast for signs that we shall try to be doing, yes. But, hey, we got somewhere with this. And uh, we talked to these guys. Did I check all of this area up here? There is a staircase there. I wonder how I'm supposed to actually get there. Hmm, that's actually interesting to see that there is clearly a staircase, but I can't really go through this, so... Maybe on the other side there is a way to get there, or there's some other entrance that I've missed. Or might be even in some other spot completely the entrance originally and then it just leads over that way, which is also possible. But yeah, I'll just have to investigate a little bit throughoutly if I could say. I did visit here, but just in case that I missed some sort of a spot to go through. In the there, that's why I came here still. Because, yeah, that's just interesting to notice that there is something clearly there. I'll check this quickly just for the fun of it, I guess. A few locusts <sighs> trudge along the wall of the trap. The rest are piled in a heap in the corner, dead. No phasmid anywhere. This definitely does save my voice, but it just doesn't feel right. I played so long without <laughs> all this voice acting in these places where it's not necessary, so to speak. Poor things. Indeed. They are poor little things. I'm trying to go and move this way, but I can't from here. Hmm. And that didn't give us any more answers, certainly enough. Not at least, yeah, last time around that we had checked on it, so I doubt that would help me right now either. At least I doubt so. I was supposed to arrive here too some time when it was night, right? Pretty sure about that. Quick travel unlocked. That's strange. What does that mean? Someone must have worked hard to smash the plastic dome. Alright. Maybe because we hadn't visited here ever with him yet? Hmm. Still would be kind of surprising. But yeah, so this is the same area where we also found the body, after all. But, uh, well, let's see what we can see. Ah, an encyclopedia from that. Cool. Vulcans have recently painted the tarp red. Water trips from it. And what about this then? 
A coin-operated fading machine hasn't been used for a decade. Makes sense. More bottles. Don't mind if I do. Doesn't look like I can really get into that direction by any means at this point. But yeah, no idea how to get into that location. Here is of course where the body was. There was... Yeah, there's nothing more there, I'm certain. And uh, surely I looked into here, or did I? This coin-operated fever has been out of order for years. Stop messing with the coin weaver and hold on to something. The wind is so strong. <laughs> sure. I can't believe it, of course. But yeah, now I'm just so intrigued how the heck I would be able to get into the area where that was. Because that would be an area where definitely the shot could have tried to be coming from, I'd say. If we somehow could get into inside this location. But how? He just runs into this spot after all, so it's in no way a solution on how to get there. It's not like we can climb that either. Huh, very interesting. We can check this too, because we did the Ark to them, but we, did we check this properly? Hmm, let's just make sure. I don't remember for a certainty. You see, a once bright mural towering above you. The signage has peeled off over the years, but you can still make out Feld Electrical R&D. A slogan used to intertwine with the loops a long time ago. Now only a shadow of peeled letters remains. It says, tomorrow is just a whisper away. Tomorrow is just a whisper away, eh? Looks like tomorrow never came. The lieutenant raises the collar of his bomb per jacket. Step closer. Above the mural, a collapsed roof, broken windows set in walls that are cracking and will soon also fall, and the coastal breeze rustling and sighing in the remains of the edifice. There's something in the wind. Sometimes the only way to go forward is to fail first. Something in the wind, and uh, sometimes it's the only way to go forward is to fail first. This is definitely a plausible place. We actually saw that sort of a, like a bunker type of location close by. That maybe that leads into this area, and that could be a place for a shot. Why do I feel like I know this place? Indeed. Somehow you knew it was here. An urban ruin gutted by looters that once used to consume money and dispense warmth and light. You felt it before, when it rained in Martinez, and you felt the cold of the rain. The feeling persists. It has been in you ever since. Interesting. But I do have to say also that I... Right, um, because I got so used to reading this, I feel that I better concentrate in what is said when I read it myself rather than listen to this when everything is talked with the same voice. <sighs> of course, it was great to have some of it before too, but having as much like this is a bit indeed bothersome. Hmm. But that's true. It has been with us. Could Ruby be in there? In there? She could. Or she could be in the identical rune over there. Or in that boat shack. In that church tower, maybe. <laughs> the left in points behind you and all, all other directions. Why single out this one building? Well, I wish I had some more. That's a good question from Logic as well. Why? But Shivers is... Really? Well, this is a really difficult check. <laughs> Found the empty trap. Ah, uh, like close by to this was a completely empty trap. Heard Lena's true story. Those actually have something to do with this. Interesting. Reconstructed execution. We even did that. Yeah, I know where we did that. Death notification. We still have a reasonable chance, so of course I need to try to do this. At least this is a white check, so we can try it again, right? Yeah, 
white check, yes. So if I get then another shivers, I can always try this again. But why? Because shivers. Shivers tells, tells me, listen to the wind. We just need to listen and we will know. Even though you're sure you succeeded, all is quiet. There is no cold hand brushing against your forehead. No rustle in the reeds. The wind has died down. The ruin in front of you is silent as a tomb. Interesting. Indeed, even though I'm sure that I succeeded, because I did succeed, clearly. <laughs> I did. I got 22 when it was a 20 to succeed. But all is quiet nonetheless. Hmm. Maybe that's why. It's so silent for some reason or another. Not like any of the other locations. What was I even attempting to do here? That's a great question. I have no idea. Trying to talk to the wind. The city. Whatever you thought would happen, did not. And now you're just standing there with your hands fallen to your side. Shivers, why are you talking to me like that? Is trying to talk to the city something you've done before? Is it in your secret repertoire? A trick for when you're out of ideas? <laughs> that might be it. Just a trick to try to talk to the city when we have no idea what to do. A prayer of sorts. To Revishaw. Well, right, but left in it then. She could be anywhere. How do we find her? How do we? I was really hoping she'd be in the village. Okay. Mm hmm. The lieutenant insights then gets a hold of himself. She's probably north of the village, and this place is a peninsula. We already scanned most of the outdoor areas on our wild cryptid hunt, so we have an understanding of the geography, at least. We do. So, you understand the cryptic hunt was actually useful. <laughs> and then there's the church. If I were a murder suspect, I would not hide in the most prominent building here. But who knows? Maybe she's reckless. He looks at the bell tower. I doubt that though. I don't think he, she would go and hide there. But hey, of course, who knows? Maybe. Or spiritual. She could be looking for refuge. Eh, doubt. Anyway, we do it the old-fashioned way. Sector by sector. Go over the whole peninsula. Ask the locals. Enter the places where we can enter first. Like we did in the village. True. Sector by sector, and if that fails, if we don't find her... Then, if we're desperate, we can look where we can't enter. Bankers, tomb drainage, this place, I'm sure it won't come to that. He looks behind him at the dark red box crumbling across the chasm. I'm sure it won't come to that. I kind of have a feeling it will, considering there's the court down staircase there. At least we can go there some way. Walk the coast, the old boardwalk. The reeds. You can always come back here and talk to the wind again. Look where it already got you. Interesting. <laughs> where it already got us. I didn't get us very far though, Shivers. It really didn't, but... Um, but we can always come back and try to do it again anyways. <laughs> um... Maybe we get a really critical success, or maybe it has to be during the night time. I don't know. Suddenly, there's a sigh, <gasps> carried on the molecules around you, moving, flowing from high pressure to low pressure. Like that of a woman emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath, flowing through it. Ew, we succeeded again. Perfect. But we heard a woman's sight emptying her lungs. She wraps the collapsing stone box in front of you in her breath. Hmm, where does it go? In through the collapsed roof, flowing down a concrete staircase to the basement, sweeping away footprints in the dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the boardwalk. It's winding tunnels, a whisper away. So, yeah, so basically there's here that staircase that we saw down a concrete staircase 
from this、uh, collapsed roof to the basement of this whole place, weeping away footprints and dust on the stairs, and then the beach below the road walk, it's winding tunnels, a whisper away. There is, after all, below this. Area that we are walking on, there is an、uh, area still on the beach, too, which is very interesting. What is happening? That is a great question, however. She's down there. Ooh, that was a nice、uh, whisper. I think, I think she really is down there below this building. I just have a feeling, Lieutenant. Okay, why? Ever since I woke up, maybe even before, I've been getting these strange cold spells. Good, good, yes, cold spells. So basically, your hangover is telling you she's down there? He seems incredulous. <laughs>、uh, talk to my hangover. The wind told me. So, how do we get in there? The doors were on the collapsed side of this building. They're gone, basically. He shrugs so. <laughs> okay, just accepting the wind told me. They're gone, basically, indeed. But there's a ladder next to the sign, which I did look into. I tried to even look that. Could I? Could I click on it? Could I? But I couldn't. But there is a ladder next to the sign. Point to it. Perhaps we can climb it. Enter through the roof. Perhaps you can climb them. We are not climbing anything. I'm 43 years old and I plan to live to see 70. <gasps> so you're just a teeny tiny bit older than I am, right? Because I was 42. So you're just one year older. Almost the same age. Clothes. Yeah, I got the new clothes, yes, but my athletics is very, very horrible, however, so. A rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Some of the rungs are missing. Yeah. That doesn't look good at all. Let's assess the situation. Okay, let's、um, have a look. Can I. Like, what would be the thing that we would need here? Probably some of these things. Probably. Savio Fai. Probably would be good.、Mm, reaction speed. Things like that. Let's have a look at our clothes. What might we require? Like, visual goggles is fine, I guess, but.、Uh, like, our boots is extremely bad. We need to change those goddamn boots. We just need to take them even away if we wouldn't have anything better.、Mm, I guess the perception boots are better than that. At least they won't be taking a negative into the goddamn Xavier Foy. I don't know about that. Like, I like the shivers, but on the other hand, the physical instrument at this point might be a bad thing to get a negative off. Hand eye coordination, maybe. But paint dress hold, maybe that's even useful. This is reaction speed. Orange bomb hat. Sure, let's put that on. That's more logical, yeah, but. Right now, the minimal reaction speed bonus might at least help me just a teeny tiny bit. Maybe. Probably not, though. The rusty ladder leads to the rooftop. Let's at least try to adjust the situation. The distances between the remaining rungs are rather wide. You'd have to use the mounting brackets. However, they seem corroded, and the peeling rust is razor sharp. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. In addition, the first rung is going to be tough to reach. It's what? Three meters above the ground? And you're 180? 180 seems about right, I think. Not to mention that the roof is collapsing and the wind gets pretty brutal up there. Dismounting from the ladder is going to be hard. Perhaps if you were to not climb the ladder, instead. Do what? What is the other choice other than climbing the ladder? 
What if you were to reconceptualize climbing the ladder? <laughs> Just conceptualize how the climbing of the ladder might happen, then maybe we can climb the ladder. Astral projection. Be open-minded about this. Okay, let's do an astral projection with our Inland Empire. I'm sure this will grow, go great. What if I don't climb? What if I just teleport? Teleportation is not a thing. <laughs> the lieutenant stares at you, stone-faced. Teleportation is a thing. Just need a bit of a concentration, clearly. Okay, let's say teleportation is a thing. Wouldn't you need some kind of scientific apparatus to create a teleportation field? You can't just do it without apparatus. I think you talk way too logically. What are they talking about? <laughs> the kid. Uh, the kid behind you whispers, asking his father. Teleportation, Mikhail. It's generally thought impossible. Well, it won't hurt to try, right? Oh, yes, it could hurt a lot. <laughs> he is restraining himself from using a parental tone with you right now. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I was a feeling that it must be teleport to the roof. Yeah, with the subway fair. That's that's not teleportation. That's definitely not teleportation, but I can't get that with anything else, right? My Safia affair sucks so goddamn much. I wish it weren't so, but I think it is indeed the case. It's very unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Yeah, and those stupid pants just give minus one to Safia affair. <sighs> well, might as well put that hat all back on. No point not to. I am almost tempted to go and try to enjoy some sort of trucks that would allow me to actually have some more severe fare because otherwise I will never succeed with this stuff. Never, ever, ever. I wish I could succeed, but I don't see how. And I don't think any uh, interactable item that we might in have in here, or tool, I mean, would be able to actually help us in any way, climbing this better. So, yeah. I don't think this is going to happen. I wish it would, but... Hey. How would it? And that's not helping me. What could be helping me? Indeed. Just a little bit more skill points at least only, and then we would be getting at least somewhere a little bit more, so... Let me come back to this, maybe if I at least put one point more into that. Climb the ladder to the roof or find another way into the felt building. Yeah, I don't think I can climb, so... I would have to try to find... There is this, which looks interesting. I guess I wouldn't have seen it without the perception. And that seems a lot more plausible for, for us. An old pipe peeks out from beneath the rotten boards of the boardwalk. Could this be an alternative path into the fell building? Come closer and look in. Your eyes slowly begin to adjust to the darkness inside the drainage pipe. The lieutenant looks over your shoulder. Could we get into the fell building through this pipe? Given that this isn't a martial arts thriller, it's highly unlikely, and not without risk to our health either. A grin flickers across his face. Yeah, uh, unfortunately not a thriller. However, the pipe suggests there may be an entrance to the basement around. The lieutenant pushes aside the reeds and looks around. The lieutenant's face lights up. He doesn't usually notice these little things. But now he could, yay. And it's right here. A maintenance door. Ooh. He points to a roost metal double door to the right of the pipe, obscured by the reeds. But my physical instrument sucks too. <laughs> What's in there? A thin layer of snow gleams inside the pipe. Okay, what else? As your eyes adjust, you see some trash. Crumpled up newspapers, cigarette butts. Someone has half-heartedly spray-painted 
skulls on the right side. Interesting. And? And? And nothing. Broken glass from bottles thrown against the walls of the pipe. A syringe. Alright, I guess that's something. Let me have a look into my physical instrument. God darn it. How? Why must I success, uh, su fail so much? Is more the question. Why? Paint dress hold doesn't help. None of these items help, correct? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Physical instrument. I'm sure I had something in here with at least some physical instrument. Yeah. Even if it wouldn't be much, but at least it's something. At least they can push it just a minimal amount so I can at least try. That actually would have given one stuff here fair. But it would be very little regardless. But I guess I can try to put them on if I want to still check the latter. But it's not much nonetheless. If only it would be requiring electrochemistry or something, but no. Well, yep, that's all we got, Behind so... the pipe, the maintenance door yeah, that's just shut. <laughs> that's just extremely bad. Even worse than our Saphir Fair attempt, which is really bad. If you consider it, that's even more difficult, but yeah, physical instrument 3, Savia Fair now is 2, which is amazing amount. Just about amazing. I have to succeed really ridiculously well to be able to do this. 17% chance, so it's quite, quite, quite ridiculously unlikely. Of course, maybe I could try to have a look if there's anything else we could try to see that might lead us here into this location but I don't see anything else this site had already crumbled up anyway so there is just simply basically nothing here I can run about and just try to look around the location a little bit still more like I said there was at least one other thing that I was always suspicious about like, uh, was it in here somewhere? No, it's here. Like, somewhere. Let's just zoom out a little bit. Mm. Well, now we can't see it. <laughs> what I was meaning. What's that? Is that a little something I can pick up? Yay. Before you draw a bridge, it can draw bridge. It can only be lowered from the other side. Sadly, a school of fish huddle around the fence post, then scatter into the dark. That is also the area where actually I was supposed to go and explore better because we didn't really do that yet. We didn't also go and visit in the church, so I guess I should do that. Dusty views in the shadows. Many seem to be missing. An altar shrouded in dark, or something like that. It's too dark to tell. The sign reads Saint Brune 1147. Hmm. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice your height, stand shut in front of you. The rectangular sea worn ornamentation appears in stark contrast to the padlock carelessly drilled into the wood. Inspect the carpentry first. The carving on the door is block-like and angular, like the church itself. Two large beams shoot downwards, sinking into the wood before they reach the threshold. Run your hand over a beam. The surface is smooth from the wind, but moist to the touch. Interesting. Rattle the doors to see if they open. Nothing happens, only the sound of the padlock rattling against the door. I don't think that's going to work. That's just a long break. Do you think our suspect is hiding inside? He rises his sight to the darkened windows overhead. I don't think so, but... Well, she might be, but I doubt it is because that seemed to be the right place. But she might be. It's worth checking out anyway. 
The lieutenant nods silently. Hmm. High above, the wind wraps the church in its rush, cold and wet from the ocean bay. It parts around the massive keel-shaped roof, like a test tunnel washing both sides, the way it has done for 340 years. The wind keeps its distance. So should you. Okay, so I guess we shouldn't go inside this church for some reason or another, supposedly. What is this feeling? There is a hole in my heart. Okay. Hmm. The lieutenant looks at the padlock. He didn't hear you asking. You were quiet enough. Alright, didn't hear me asking about that. <laughs> Take a closer look at the padlock. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden door. The lock is adorned with a yellow sticker. Look at the sticker. You see a yellow circle with two X's and a big curve below them that looks like a mouth. You're pretty sure you haven't seen it before, but what the symbol depicts is clear enough. A smiling dead guy. The curve makes it smile and the X's make it dead. Cool. Have you seen the symbol before? Point to it. He takes off his glasses and uses a blue handkerchief to thoroughly wipe them clean before inspecting the sticker. Then he looks up, pauses, and replies. No. What does it look like to you? Looks like a dead man smiling. Suggests junior delinquency. Possible. Okay, so what is junior delinquency? For Revachtol Z aussi, the moral intern defined junior delinquents as minors between the ages of 10 and 16 who have committed an act in violation of the law. These acts aren't called crimes as they would be for adults. Crimes committed by minors are called delinquent acts. This was part of your officer's exams. He puts the handkerchief in his gold pocket. What is successive of junior delinquents here? Probably because, well... <laughs> Just, just the way it's drawn, just a little thing like that. I haven't seen that sticker before, and I'm not a youth. Wow. Thus, Thus it must be made by youths. Yeah. Eh. Inspect the staple. The padlock passes through a staple that's been hastily attached to the wood. Closer inspection reveals that one of the screws is not a screw at all, but a nail. The work has been done recently and is unprofessional, to say the least. Hmm. Should you want to get through, it might be easier to just pry the whole thing off. Back off for a moment. This cheap looking padlock is sturdily built. It shackles together a hasp and a staple screwed into the wooden... If you really think we should get in there, we need to find some other way. I'm actually, uh, should we start with the kick drum coming from the eyes? <laughs> yes, the pulsing bass. An indication of junior delinquency. Indeed. Uh, but yeah, so... What was it that I needed even? It was interfacing for the sticker first, but I don't think I have anything more that unfortunately would really... Uh, it gave me any of that. It would be nice to somehow quickly see which things give uh, the one that you are looking for. That would be more important to me at this point, at least than, well, all that voice acting, because I'm already used to so well, indeed, to not have it. So then it's weird to have it. No, well, let's equip, equip this. Heavy wooden doors, more than twice. Uh, let's your try to do this, but it's unlikely to work out nonetheless. Ornamentation appears in stark contrast. There's nothing like the sound of a sticker unpeeling. Now it's stuck to your thumb. Yay, we got the sticker. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't just shake it off. Mm, I don't know about putting it 
No, it's a good question. Should I put it just into the front or should I put it where it belongs as it into the end where there is the last entry because this is belonging to that case. So I think that's more fitting than this one. So put the sticker in your ledger after the last entry where it belongs. Looks like today was a gold star day. Indeed, <laughs> we got a gold star for ourselves. And uh, that's uh, unlikely to happen, but I guess we can try once, but maybe I should save it off a little bit rather than try to do that yet. My physical instruments and savvy affairs and so on suck so god that much, which is really unfortunate. We're so close to a level up. I wanna get it. I'm gonna get that level up. Well, let's go talk to this person indeed behind here, because why not? Plus or behind the church. I'll go and check this area still one more time because I just so would wish to find something, you know? That's all. I would so wish to be able to find that something here. Just dead and dying locusts and the slow swaying of surrounding reeds. Poor things. Ah, I so wish that wouldn't be the case. So it is. So it still is. Hmm. Just making sure there wasn't anything else in here. I guess the ice is just making noises and creaking there. I was thinking that... Am I missing something? Is there some weird noise about something or another there? That I should be aware of? And that door definitely didn't budge. I guess I'll check it quickly, but it's the extremely door, not budging. By elements, guards the depot. Yeah, I wish I could get in there. I so wish I could get into that place, but it's so impossible to do so. So very impossible indeed. I guess I had to go from all the way the other side, actually, like from the right side of the church, even though it doesn't... It never feels right, but we still can do indeed just this. Ah! There's coins. How can I leave those coins? How did I not notice them before? I thought that I definitely checked this area properly, but clearly I didn't. Take. Take all of it. We have 50 reals. That's a lot of money for me. Lots. A ton ton of cash. Okay, let's check these areas completely and talk to this individual. Must have taken a lot of patience to do this. I do have to agree on that. Yellow moss on these stones. They're probably stolen from someone's garden. Painted with pastels. Someone is trying to bring sheer into the world. Trust from some unending party. A pole screwed into the ice keeps the tent erect. More tribalistic markings. This post is covered in little humanoids. Alright, almost level up from this, but not quite. To be continued with Girarusha next time in Disco Elysium. See you all then.